Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a major decision by the Washington Post and the response from its owner, Jeff Bezos, just days before the U.S. presidential election. On October 25, Washington Post CEO William Lewis announced that the paper would remain neutral in the upcoming presidential election on November 5. Notably, this marks the first time in 36 years that the Washington Post has taken a neutral stance, as it had previously endorsed Democratic candidates. This decision also implies the Post will not support Vice President Kamala Harris, the Democratic candidate this election cycle. Many reactions followed, some accusing Bezos of influencing the decision. The prominent businessman, who also founded Amazon and Blue Origin, defended the neutrality choice on October 28. He stated that most people already believe media organizations exhibit bias, and the Washington Post, like all media outlets, should aim to build credibility. Bezos assured that no candidates were informed or involved in this decision, and there were no agreements made. He also clarified that this neutrality has no relation to a separate meeting between Blue Origin's CEO and Republican candidate Donald Trump that took place the same day. A notable point made by Bezos was that endorsements do not alter election outcomes but rather create a perception of bias, affecting journalistic independence. He emphasized that this is a principled and necessary choice. The neutrality decision led to a wave of cancellations, with approximately 8% of the Post's 2.5 million subscribers ending their subscriptions. Several commentators also resigned from the paper to voice their opposition. The Washington Post's decision to stay neutral this election season has certainly sparked debate. As Jeff Bezos put it, the aim is to uphold journalistic integrity, though the repercussions continue to unfold. Thanks for tuning in, and stay updated as we follow this story.